Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing paid review, paid review 24QA38. Let's run the intro. Quick whisk watch check. Actually, I, I took my watch off. You know, sometimes you just take the watch off. I went for, just come back from a swim. The bank watch is in the safe. I got to make some vids. I didn't put it on. Let's run the intro and let's discuss this collection review. Uh, let's press the button now. <laughs> guys okay here we go i got my just as we ran the theme i couldn't handle not having a watch i put on my rolex explorer 2 bluesy 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 in this video is coming from bangkok that's right i'm in my hotel room okay let's jump straight in this is review 24 qa 38 hi archie I love your channel. I've been watching for five years now. That's half a decade. I think you're handsome and charismatic. Thank you so, so much. The best part of the day, my day is when I listen to you on YouTube. I watch it every day. I would love to get your review on my collection. My story is not interesting at all. My name is Luke. I'm a middle-aged Asian guy living in Canada. I prefer not to share my story further. No problems. I have no further questions. Would love to hear your take on my watches. I've labeled my watch pictures with the watch references, uh, ref watches reference numbers. I've sent you 105 US dollars via PayPal. Cheers, Luke. So, guys, this is an interesting review because normally they give me a backstory. We're looking at solely, we've got a middle aged Asian dude in Canada. <coughs> let's, um, let's call up his let's call up his collection and have a look what do we got what do we got let's have a look guys wowzers what do we got we got some nice stuff i'm just adjusting the micro links on my submarina okie dokie so what do we got here we've got a few really nice we've got actually got a lot of nice pieces here let's zoom in and have a bit of a look we got the top corner now. Unfortunately, what he's done is when he's taken these photos, he's now the big enemy in photography is lighting. Too much lighting, too much flash. So unfortunately, these photos, although he's got some beautiful watches, the photos are not fantastic because we've got flash and too much light. The best way to take photos, if you want to photograph your watches, is as the sun early morning or as the sun is setting take photos outside you want to limit the amount of light too much light is not good but enough said we can get a feel we've got a first watch we've got as a paddock six zero zero sorry six thousand g now this was similar to the model i had i had a six zero zero six which was actually the model which uh, superseded this but this here is a 37 mil it's a beautiful calatrava i really love these next is we've got is we've got a 116503 this is rolex daytona two-tone black dial uh interestingly enough i had a 116523 the 503 is the model after that weird how it is this is a beautiful two-tone uh, Daytona, black dial. Ab what, what can you say? Absolutely beautiful. Then we've got is a we've got a beautiful 
41 mil, no date sub, 124060. Beautiful. We got a Neo Vintage uh, GMT. We got a 16710. This is a GMT Master 2. Uh, seems to have solid end links. Then we've got a Speedmaster. This is using the 1861 movement. Speedmaster Hesselite. Beautiful watch. Next row down, we've got a beautiful JLC Jega Lukutra Moon Phase Date. Look at that automatic Moon Phase Date. Beautiful blue dial. We got a Vacheron, Vacheron Constantine 56, three hander with the date. We've got a JLC Polaris, one of my favorites. These watches, the Polaris itself has always been a little bit soft. I had a Polaris chronograph for a brief time. Well made, beautiful, beautiful watch. Um, very, very nice. Uh, this one here's got the inner chapter ring. You can adjust the inner chapter ring. Um, he's also got here, he's got the IWC Mark 18. Beautiful pilot watch. We've got a Zenith open heart. <clears throat> Very similar to my open heart, except... He's got the blue. It's the blue dial with the blue registers. And then on the last row, we have got, what have we got here? We've got a Vacheron 81180, Patrimony Ultra Thin. We've got an IWC Portuguesa. This is really, really nice. We It's a chronograph. We've got an Amiga Speedmaster 300. Cartier large size uh, DLC. And last but not least, we've got an AP Royal Oak. Royal Oak Offshore. And uh, it's quite a quite a nice um, quite a nice piece there. It's got the if you have a look at this, all of these Royal Oaks. Um, have a nickname and um what's what's what he say this one here has got the um it's it's got the beautiful beautiful red accents beautiful red accents um and uh, i gotta tell you it's it's looking pretty pretty sexy it's a very sexy watch this um and um i think it's and this here is actually referred referred to as the Audemars Piguet, Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore 26278 Tour Auto, and it's from 2009. And it's titanium and rubber, titanium and rubber. So what do I think of his collection here? What do I think of, he's asked me, what do I think? Wow, <coughs> I like to look at a few things. Let's look at a few bases. So, firstly, our Rolex bases. We've got, we've got three Rolex. We've got, we have got Daytona two tone, modern ceramic no date, and we've got Neo Vintage GMT. So you've got your your bases covered. We've then got an Omega Speedmaster. Hesselite, and we've got a very attractive Seamaster 300. We then look at Holy Trinity pieces, and we've got the Patek 6000. We've got the Vacheron 56 and an AP. So he's, he's, he's covered some pretty heavy-hitting bases in that. We've then got um we've got an avacheron and a vacheron patrimony so a little bit lopsided in the sense that there's two vacherons one paddock and one ap but i get it i get it um in the jlc stretch we've got a jlc ultra thin moon phase we've got a jlc polaris 
IWC, we've got two, a Mark 18 and a Portuguese. In Zenith, we've got one Zenith, one Carti. So he's, he's got, i got to be honest with you. What do I think of his collection? 15 pieces. i got to say, it's pretty damn amazing. I think he's got so many bases covered. I think he's got more than enough watches. This is a really, really top-class collection. It's a shame the photography wasn't great. It's got the photo is taken with too much glare and flash, and it just it really detracts from the quality of this collection. I really think he's got so many bases covered. It's modern sports, very much he's bought pieces he likes. Um, let's go through these 15 pieces, and I'll give you my opinion. The Paddock Philippe is absolutely sensational. The Paddock 6000, I love that model. Uses the Micro Rotor 240 movement. Best of the best. Then if we have a look at his other Trinity piece, he's got the AP. Um, I think an AP offshore in a real avant-garde red in titanium and rubber is this modern it's sexy i love it two vacherons we've got a patrimony and we've got a 56 yes sir yes sir the only advice i would give is because he's gone two 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 in the collection i'd say why not add another paddock and add another ap what would i add well i'd love to add a three hand royal oak standard royal oak uh, if you wanted to be a bit on the budget side, you could add a Jules Audemars. And as for a paddock, well, I would be adding some sort of complication, either an annual calendar or a well time. JLC, we've got the we've got the Polaris, um, and we've got the JLC Ultra Thin Moon Phase. Man, I I really would want you to have a a steel reverso. I, I personally, I'd get rid of the bloody Cartier and get a beautiful steel grand size reverso. I'm not a big fan of DLC. I don't like it. Um, that's what I'd be doing. I love the Zenith. I love the IWCs to the Mark 18 and the Portuguese. I love I love the symmetry in it there. So I, I would basically got two Omegas, beautiful. You got two Vacherons, beautiful. Two JLCs, two IWCs. So I'd be adding another Zenith. I would be adding another AP, another paddock. I'd like to try and balance it out. I mean, that, 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 that's being nitpicky. However, if you look at the collection, it is really spectacular. Three Rolexes. We've got the Gauntlet. We've got Neo Vintage and Modern. We've got Omega, the classic Speedmaster and the Seamaster. We've got such a range these are so usable these are such a great usable collection i absolutely love it i really adore this collection i think it's absolutely first rate i i, I cannot criticize anything in this collection i think it's superb uh what would i do well if it was me as i said the symmetry i'd be adding i'd want to have two paddocks because you've got two Vacherons, two Paddocks and two APs. I personally would piss off the Cartier and get a, a Reverso. Uh, I just try and, you know, as a collection goes, I think it's beautiful. You may not need to do anything. If you love this collection, it's, it's, this is, it's a lot of work, a lot of money, beautiful pieces. I think you should be incredibly proud of it it's a nice collection um i like so many elements here i like the fact that you got a two-tone 
Okay, you don't have many. You've only got one two-tone in the, in the Daytona. But I love the way you've got a two-tone, you've got a modern ceramic Rolex, and you've got Neo Vintage. I love the Omegas. I love the, they got the Holy Trinity, Paddock, AP, and VC. I love the JLC. I love, I love the two IWCs. I love the Zenith. I love so many factors in this collection. So many ways you could add to it. However, you do have 15 pieces, which let's be totally honest. Fuck, that's a collection. It's a collection. So my advice to you is enjoy. Wear, the, wear these pieces. Wear it in good health. Congratulations. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. That is my advice. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Remember... Paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Without your help and assistance, it's very hard for me to survive. So please, guys, please get a paid review done. Details below, 50 US dollars. You can pay a little bit more, and I give a little bit extra. Uh, I love you guys. Please, please. Uh, put some comments. Tell me what you think. I love this collection. Uh, and remember the tips on the photography. Try not to use flash. But that doesn't take away the fact that this is a beautiful collection. Guys, if you're buying or selling a watch in America, there's only one person I recommend, and that's David S.W. Um, David S.W. That is who I recommend. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer, hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David S.W.